Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks Room. Welcome back to my kitchen. I am on a sourdough obsession, and I have a delicious sourdough cake for you made with either discard or active starter, and it is spectacular. It's an upside down peach cake that says summertime written all over it. You will impress your family and friends if you take this to a summer barbecue. All right, we are starting this cake the same way with butter and coconut that we did our pineapple upside down cake. We melted it, and then we're gonna add flour, our sourdough starter or discard. You could use either here. And then we're gonna put our butter and our coconut oil and mix that all in. This is really tough to mix, guys. So just, you know, really get in there and do your best. Get it all mixed together well. It's not that easy. You can even use your hands in this. In my pineapple upside down cake, I let it sit in the fridge overnight at this point, and then I took it out for eight hours. This time, I'm just letting it sit out on the counter for eight hours. This helps it to ferment and get a good sourdough flavor. Next, we're gonna put that mixture in a bowl and we are going to beat in our sugars. I use two different kinds of sugars, white and brown, and then I'm gonna put my vanilla in too. And we are gonna mix this all together, and then we are gonna add our eggs one at a time. I decided this time to show you that I don't always have to use a mixer. It ended up being a bad choice for me, and my neck was all jacked up for a couple days because I did this mixing. So it's back to the mixer for me. So now we're doing our one egg at a time. Why do you ask we do one egg at a time? Well, let me tell you. Well, I went to Cook's Illustrated for the answer to this. It's in the emulsification. Adding one egg at a time produces a lighter cake, not as dense and not as rubbery as a regular cake. Same goes with your cookies. Adding one egg at a time in your cookies, you are gonna produce a thicker, chewier cookie. Putting them in all at once makes your cookies spread out and they are unevenly shaped. Pretty interesting, huh? Now we're gonna add our cinnamon, our salt, and our baking soda. We're gonna get this all incorporated. Now we know one egg at a time. If this tells us one egg at a time, follow the directions, which is really hard for me. Ooh, that batter tasted good. Okay, now we have our toasted pecans we're putting in. And I made this little peach puree. I just mashed up some peaches. It was one peach and a teaspoon of sugar and let it sit and macerate and get all juicy to try to get a more peach flavor in my cake. And then I also put in a half cup of chopped peaches. I really would like to get a peach flavor in my cake as well as the flavor of the peaches that are gonna be on top of the cake. Let's see if it tastes good. Oh, delicious. Now time to assemble our cake. So we are gonna put some handfuls of brown sugar at the bottom, and you know what, experiment. I use about three to four handfuls just to cover the bottom. If you want a lot, go for it. It'll be really juicy on top, and it's gonna taste so good with those peaches. Now it's time to layer the peaches. Now you wanna, you don't just wanna dump your peaches, you want them to look pretty, you know, because this is gonna be the top of your cake. You are inverting this cake. You see, I even have some extra peaches, so I put some up on the sides just to get rid of them. Oh, that is gonna be such a pretty top to your cake, isn't it? And you know what? You may want to put down some parchment paper before you do any of this because it'll make for a much easier flip over and have your cake release out of the pan. You'll see I did not do this and I had a problem. Okay, now we are putting our three to four tablespoons of butter and we're just shaving that on top, trying to make sure we get it all over. This is gonna melt in with that brown sugar Oh, it's going to make a nice juicy caramelized finish there.
time to put that beautiful cake on top. Oh, it's so fluffy. And I did this one by hand and it was still just a beautiful, super fluffy batter. And do you know why? It's because I did the one egg at a time. It's got to be. It's my new secret and I want to share it with you all. So get that all spread around and looking beautiful. Okay, so now go all the way around your cake and just loosen it up. Just get it loosened so that um, it, it'll make it much easier to transfer it. And then we're going to put our pan on top there and do a nice flip. Oh, there we go. Look at all those beautiful, beautiful peaches. Now knock on a bit, try to get those peaches off. I realized, whoa, my peaches are sticking. Hello, parchment paper. I should have used parchment paper. Banging it a couple times. Got some of it to loosen up, but those peaches, boy, they were some tough suckers and it's my own fault. So I cannot stress it enough. Use parchment paper and you won't have this problem at all. So look what I have to do. The show must go on. I have missing peaches. So one by one, I put them in their proper place. One by one. It was tedious, but you couldn't even tell. So if you have this problem, do not stress out. Your cake is gonna turn out beautiful. I, I, it was like a puzzle. I put every peach in the exact spot where it was supposed to be. It turned out fabulous, guys. It was beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful cake. All right, the cake is done. You see the pictures, it turned out beautiful, even though I had a few peach malfunctions there at the end. Use parchment paper on the bottom before you put your brown sugar and butter and fruit and pour your cake and then you won't have the problem I had. Okay, well, let's try this. Mm. I taste a very good, strong peach flavor. Now, let me just get a little cake. I just wanna see if you can taste the peach, That if that effort of just mashing up the peaches with a little sugar, if that was worth it. You know what, let me take a little drink, clear my palate. Okay, now let's try. It's clear. I'm gonna try one more bite. I taste faint peach. Faint peach. But I didn't want to add more fruit because then I'm starting to mess with the integrity of the cake. Um, so the peach on top gives it great peach flavor. I can't stop eating it. Wow, it's so good. I impressed myself. Mmm. Thanks for watching Kathy Cooks for you. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Mmm. That's some tasty cake. Tasty.